If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to Team of the Week Predictions. A little bit later than usual, but it is here. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Of course, none of the uh, Premier League games are on this week. FA Cup games don't count. So if anybody starts screaming certain Man City and, and Man United players, etc., they don't count, right? So Palmer up first with two goals, one assist. Moving on to Benning with two assists and a Man of the Match award and a 3-2 win. 75-rated um, player there. Again, I'm going back to my the way he, in form should work, in my opinion. He should be bumped to 80 minimum, but, you know, it is what it is. Not really a usable card. Um, O'Brien? 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 I'm not sure how you'd say his name. Two goals in a 2-0 win, up to a 77-rated card. Very good pace on him. But again, unless you're a fan of the club, I'm pretty sure you won't be interested. Controversial one up next. We've gone for Klukas uh, with one goal and a controversial celebration and a Man of the Match award in a 1-0 win. If you don't know what I'm talking about, he used to play for Swansea. He scored against them, ran to the opposing fans and started celebrating. A uh, bit of a weird one. Uh, let's move on to um, the Dutch league. Kleiber? 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 No idea how to say his name. Do apologise. Two goals. Man of the match award. 4-0 win from right back. Actually looks like a really decent card. Very good physicals. Nice pace. One more inform on top of that. We could be looking at a really sexy right back. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing you'd say this Bias. But um, big ass, big ass, b b ass, no idea. Clearance off the line in a nil-nil draw. Technically speaking, got himself a clean sheet as well. I would potentially go for the goalkeeper who played well, but I'll stick with the centre-back. Griffiths from the midweek game of uh, Celtic with one goal and one assist in a 3-1 win. I don't know why I've decided to go for him instead of their French striker. Is it Eduard? Uh, he got two goals on the weekend, but Griffiths got one goal, one assist midweek. I think he got man of the match as well. I've just decided to go for him. Uh, even though I think EA will completely neglect the Scottish League, even though this week we are kind of desperate for players. Brazilian centre-back from the Dutch League up next with uh, probably the worst pace you'll ever see, uh, Bo Botegin. Uh, he got himself one goal in a 3-2 win for Feyenoord. I, I'm not... I don't know this week. We're not really lacking defenders, but I just... I fancied it. I thought maybe EA would go for it. He tends to get in form at least once a year, so why not this week? Uh, let's move on to... The Union Berlin goalkeeper that I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of. He made seven saves and uh, kept a clean sheet and was crowned man of the match in Union Berlin's 2-0 win. I tell you what, them at home, they are dangerous and I would not like to come up against them. Uh, Thomason of Strasbourg with one goal, man of the match award and a 3-1 win. Uh, there's a player that I'd like to get informed from that team called Ibrahim Sissoko. Not that he's actually any good in-game, uh, but um, I follow him in real life and I really like him. But uh, Thomason should get it there. Marcel uh, of Lyon with one goal, or sorry, I'm lying, one assist and a man of the match award in a 3-0 win. A couple of decent performances in there from Lyon players. Uh, Corne, I think Toko Akambi got a goal off the bench as well, but I am going to go with a left back, Marcel. Moving on to Redmond, of course, there were some midweek games from the Premier League, so we do have a sprinkling of Premier League players to talk about. Uh, Redmond with one goal, one assist, and a 2 0 win for Southampton, who have somehow completely turned this season around from what I thought was relegation form to. You know, better than mid table at right now. I mean, they're doing so well. Mariano, a player that um, uh, I, I think has been quite big in previous FIFAs. He's kind of gone off the boil recently, but uh, back at it with one assist. Man of the match award, technically speaking, a clean sheet and a 3 0 win for Galatasaray. Doesn't look like a terrible card either, to be fair, although. Uh, there was a better one earlier for right back, wasn't there? Um, Baumgartlinger of Bayer Leverkusen with one goal and a man of the match award in a 3 0 win. This doesn't look like a great card, if I'm honest. The passing and the dribbling fall by the wayside. Good defending and physical stats, but everything else just doesn't look that great. Uh, Gomez of Valencia. He's popped up with two goals in a 2-0 win over Barcelona, would you believe? Um, I think he missed a penalty in that game as well, so he could have got himself a hat-trick. Doesn't look like an amazing card because he doesn't really have the agility nor the pace, but good finishing, good physical. 
Let's move on to Mole. Now, this does look like a good card. This is 84 rated. This will be a second in form. One goal, one assist, and a 2-1 win for Montpellier. But look at the state of that card. 87 passing and 85 dribbling on an 84 rated card. His agility is, is quite nice. I really like that card. I'm looking forward to playing with it. I won't lie. Uh, let's move on to Nacho Fernandez of uh, Real Madrid. Of course, one goal, clean sheet, 1-0 win for them. You maybe would expect them to win by more, but they took advantage of Barcelona's defeat. They picked up their three points. This looks like a decent card as well. He doesn't really have the agility uh, that you maybe would want as a centre-back, but um, not that my centre-backs have got good agility, but he does feel quite robotic. Let's move on to Lars Bender, the right-back with potentially his second in form. One goal and a clean sheet in a 3-0 win for Bayer Leverkusen. I did go with Baumgartlinger, so they may decide to go with him. But uh, Lars Bender is definitely worth a shout as well. But it's just a case of how many right backs or defenders in general that we have. Uh, Jordan Henderson up next of Liverpool, of course, midweek game. Not talking about the Shrewsbury game, of course. I mean, didn't even play. One goal and one assist and a 2-1 win over Wolves. Very difficult performance there for Liverpool. Uh, Wolves put up a very good fight. They could easily have taken a point, maybe even more from that game. But uh, Jordan Henderson, involved in both goals, played very, very well. He has a Team of the Year nominee. I'd like to see him get upgraded. This could be that upgrade. Let's go on to Goretzka. Uh, one goal, one assist, and a 5-0 win for Bayern Munich. I'm not sure uh, if I've got any more Bayern Munich players. In fact, I don't think I did. I think this is the only Bayern Munich player I've mentioned this week, despite the fact that they won 5-0. They won I think he's all, all but guaranteed, really. One goal, one assist. Nice high-rated player. Uh, moving on to Kostic of Frankfurt with one goal and a Man of the Match award in a 2-0 win. Normally, I'd be like, yeah, maybe. But it's the fact that they beat Leipzig, who are, of course, up and around the top of the league. And they beat them two goals to nil. There was no reply there at all. So, big game, big performance from Kostic in an inform, surely. Pereira, another midweek performance, of course. Leicester winning 4-1. He got one goal and one assist. It's yet another defender, though, and it's another right back. So, that's kind of why I'm thinking Lars Bender might not make it, and they might go with Baumgartlinger because of the fact that they just have so many defenders. This looks like a decent card, though. Uh, moving on to Donnarumma, our highest-rated goalkeeper. Uh, I, I would say in the entire video, actually. I was going to say thus far, but no, in the entire video. Uh, 87 rated. I, th I, th I think he's like 12 years of age or something stupid. Um, he's really young, but he doesn't look it, does he? And he's been around for God knows how long. Seven saves, clean sheet, and a man of the match award in Milan's 1-0 win. Quite a few big, big names coming up next. Two Dortmund players back-to-back. -back. I've gone with Sancho, of course. Haaland is in form right now, so he is ruled out. Sancho got one goal and one assist in a 5-1 win for Dortmund. Um, I'm not quite sure what Haaland did, actually. It was something uh, similar, if not the equivalent, again, because he did last week as well. The other player in contention, of course, is headliner Marco Royce. He popped up with one goal and one assist in that game as well, but he also got man of the match, and he has a headliner card. So there is every possibility that EA could give him the inform. But is it too soon? Because he is currently in packs as a headliner. I'm not sure. What would happen, by the way, if you are curious, is that the headliner would remain in packs, and then on Friday when headliners leave packs, his inform would replace the headliner. That's the way that it would work. But the headliner, of course, would be bumped up to a 91 rated to represent the, the boost in, in, in inform. This next player is going to cause a lot of controversy if EA decide not to give him the inform, because this was, of course, a free player available through the objective. Now, I picked it up, obviously, and I'm sure most of you have as well. It wasn't that difficult to do, if, especially if you actively went out and, and, and got it. Uh, two goals, man of the match award, and a 3-1 win. Definitely inform worthy. Has done more than most players in this week's Team of the Week predictions. But the last time this happened uh, was with Ndombele, right at the beginning of the year with the Ones to Watch card. He got like two goals, and they didn't give him the inform. So do the right thing, EA. This next player is yet another headliner, Ilicic. He's got himself a hat-trick in a 7-0 win for Atalanta. I did have a look to see if there were more than uh, the one player that I could choose from that game, because obviously a 7-0 win is, is massive, right? Um, there weren't really any other players I could really take out. You know, like, I think it's uh, Goss Gossens, is it? The, the left mid. He is potential, but Ilicic with a hat-trick, he has to get himself an inform. Uh, moving to another Italian club, Insigne. It uh, would be a position change, although I think it's the same rating as an 88-rated card that he currently has. I'm not sure. Uh, one goal 
um, is not normally enough for this kind of player, but it was in a 2-1 win over Juventus. And considering that Napoli have had a, a bit of a torrid season in the league this year, that is a massive result as far as they're concerned. So I could definitely see them being rewarded for it. And up next and finally, we have Neymar. Now, there are several reasons why EA may decide to give him the inform. I mean, technically speaking, it would be quote-unquote cashing in, but I'm not sure many people would see it that way. Basically, what I'm talking about is he dedicated his second goal to Kobe Bryant, who obviously passed away yesterday. And it was a nice touch. It's been going round, uh, doing the rounds on social media. They knew each other, of course. So it would be nice to see him in form. Not necessarily for that reason, uh, but it could be an added bonus to it. Um, he did obviously score two goals in that game as well. And they won the game 2-0 against Lille. So... That and the fact that he has a headliner as well makes it even more appealing. He didn't get a team of the year, so why not? Why not give him a 95-rated central card? That would be really, really nice. But if they didn't give him that card, and let's just say the highest-rated player was Ilicic, this week's team of the week, or maybe even Royce, I'm not sure, but this week's team of the week doesn't look fantastic. There's a, lot, there's a few gems in there and mid-ranged players that I'm sure people wouldn't mind picking up to try out. But other than that, there's not really... If they don't have Neymar, there's no big sort of anchor there. There's no catalyst, you know? So let's hope that Neymar gets himself that inform. That's going to do it for today's video. If you think I've left anybody out, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.